Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Amy's Sense and Songs. Today is Sunday, December 6th, I believe, when last I checked. And I have four weeks until I retire, so I am excited. At first, I was excited when I decided this back in April. Then I was sad over the summer months to think of concluding a career that I have enjoyed very much. But now I'm excited. Time to spend more time on my music, see friends, uh, keep a better home. So, yeah, I'm excited. So, um, I think the dogs have finished drinking water and scratching and generally making a racket. Um, so, hopefully, we can um, record in relative peace and quiet. <laughs> I have some empties to share with you. It was a very good week, an enjoyable week of melting. And I had some surprising delights from some retail wax as well as uh, wonderful vendor wax. So let's get started. First of all, I have been enjoying the wonderful advent calendar from Empire Alchemy. And here we have the little envelopes that they come in. I will say all of these have been strong and delicious. And as blends are always um, unique, delicious, and these um, I'm I'll read the description. They're pretty self-explanatory, and I haven't been I have been enjoying them tremendously. So day one, and they correspond to the days of the month, by the way. So day one of the Edmund Calendar was the first Noel, sparkling ginger, soaked gummy bears, and cranberry collins. So essentially a fizzy cranberry scent with a little snap of ginger going on in the background. Delicious. Day two was simmering potpourri. And this is just like the kind of like craft store or um, Christmas potpourri that you could purchase um, in numerous places. This was clove studded orange, like a pomander ball. A uh, pomander ball, <laughs> I can speak. Uh, cinnamon, white, juicy cinnamon, and white, juicy tangerines. And I loved that. It, long lasting, this went on and on. Beautiful potpourri scent. Next was Deck the Halls. This was blue spruce, roasted pine cone pine branch and juniper so a mix of tree scents and it was really lovely um, a sweetness to it a little bit of roasted note from the um, from the pine cones and I enjoyed that one as well day four this one I took the little I did not remove the sticker oh I love this this was dirty chai eggnog so this was cinnamon chai eggnog bourbon Danish butter cookies and a smidgen of coffee Wow, this was great. I love chai scents, and I like to drink chai primarily because of that cardamom that comes in chai. Delicious. So that was noteworthy in this one. The cardamom was was up front and present. High throw and long-lasting. Dirty chai eggnog from, enemy, from Empire Alchemy. Day five was Velveteen Plum. So this was plum, pomegranate wine, figs and marshmallow fireside beautiful and so you had that i love fig notes so it had that little bite from the fig um, a rich plum scent and then a bit of smokiness from the marshmallow fireside so that was velveteen plum day six which is today maybe today is the sixth did i say it was the seventh just go just ride with me you know i think it today is the sixth of december I don't know anymore what day it is. This is Good King Wenceslaus, which is cinnamon sugared, buttercream cupcakes, Palo Santo, wood shavings, and bonfire. Really like this. Primarily got the cinnamon sugared buttercream cupcakes with just a touch of smoky wood in the background. So I love that. I am enjoying this Edmund calendar so very much. And look at all her little decorations on the envelopes themselves. I mean, she really took care with this. Um, just lovely and I am enjoying it every morning I'm eager to get up and see what the next one holds okay another vendor that I melted quite a few scent cups from this week is up the creek scents and I have really been enjoying this vendor so I'm going to talk through each of these quickly because they're fairly self-explanatory and I enjoyed them all first this is a one and a half um, ounce scent cup for all of these so first was coffee marshmallow bread really nice got that nice bready note um, smoothness from the marshmallow and a bit of coffee love 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 next and I really like this one this is probably one of my favorites 
I dropped this lid into the wax so you can see it, it too. It's a bit deformed, but that's because I love this so much and I was looking to see the scent notes. Palo Santo, patchouli, and peppermint, and Noel. Beautiful. Oh, so, you know, you have the smokiness from the Palo Santo, a little incense -y note from the patchouli, and then peppermint Noel. So a nice sharp peppermint and then the creaminess and touch of caramel from the Noel. Beautiful. I would like to buy that one again. Next up, one of my zucchini blends. I mentioned this last week. This is zucchini jelly donut sugar cookie. I have fallen in love with zucchini blends, and this one is so delicious with the jelly donut and then the little snap of the sugar cookie. I have this one in abundance because I just kept ordering it. Next up, this one was especially beautiful, strawberry pancake vanilla lace. So very much like the Bath & Body Works strawberry pancake, just luscious. So a very juicy, sweetened strawberry and then the pound cake. I'm normally not a big buttery fan, but this one I will buy again. So delicious. Strawberry pound cake from up the creek. Next, and this one is going right now, blueberry zucchini crunch. Delicious. So another zucchini blend. You've got the savory note from the zucchini bread and a very realistic juicy blueberry. Delicious. The other day I melted uh, lavender smoked vanilla peppermint. Oh, so nice. So I think we're all familiar with lavender vanilla peppermint from many vendors, but with the smoky note thrown in there, this was unique. High throw, really enjoyed it. So the smoky note was quite obvious. These are all from Up the Creek Scents. Going right now in the back of the house is Pecan Waffle Eggnog Cookie Bakery. Really enjoying this because um, the eggnog note is very realistic and um, the pecan waffle is not as potent as in some blends. So the blend here is really nice. Then you have the cookie and bakery. So a bakery note with the luscious eggnog. A bit of boozy note, love this. And finally, the last scent shot that I melted from Up the Creek Scents was this one, which is from what I would call the Killing Us All department. This is Root Beer Float, beautiful. Typical um, A&W, really strong, but this was so massively strong. I only melted it for about half an hour in the hotel room this week where I, when I was traveling for work. Um, I had to turn it off. It was so strong, and it lingered for a day and a half in the room, even when I was blending, uh, excuse me, melting other blends. So massively strong. If you like root beer, this will do it for you in the biggest of homes. So strong. So a beautiful blend, just be forewarned. You could probably cut this little 1.5 ounce into four pieces and uh, you'd have a strong throw. So those are all from Up the Creek and I continue to love that vendor. Going right now in the office and porch where I'm filming, and this is a gift from Rebecca who sent me a massive random act of kindness this week. Thank you so much, Rebecca. This is Lavender Lunar Eclipse from Rockets, and I have always enjoyed Rockets um, wax melts. This is blueberry, cornbread, and lavender together. Really enjoying this. Lavender and blueberry make a beautiful combination. And cornbread, interestingly, this is kind of doing what zucchini bread does for me. It adds that savory note, a little bit salty note in the background. Really like this. So thank you again, Rebecca. I will enjoy every um, chunk of that. So next up, let me talk about some mint scents. Now, I love mint, and um, I, I enjoy, I don't think I've ever had a mint blend that I didn't like. So um, first of all, I want to talk about, from Scentsy, Perfect Peppermint, which is, um, a, I just recently bought this. It is a very strong and pure peppermint, and so this is more of a penetrating um, peppermint, you will smell this all over your house, long lasting, and I really like that. Now that's more of a pure peppermint, and then these other two, these two are quite similar. This is um, from Bring Back My Bar, Marshmallow Mint from Scentsy. I love this, very creamy, and it is quite similar to um, Marshmallow Candy Cane from Sonoma. So this Marshmallow Candy Cane from Sonoma is a blend that I have enjoyed for the last couple of years and I could not find it this year in the store so I actually bought this one off of eBay and as well Jay Janelle um, gave me a um, candle in that which I love very much and have recently um, finished under the candle lamp 
So these two are quite similar. I would say that the Bring Back My Bar um, Marshmallow Mint from Scentsy is even creamier and more marshmallow, which marshmallowy, which is what I like about this. So these are both beautiful. I am enjoying them very much. Um, the Sonoma version, medium throw, uh, lasted about a day and a half. The marshmallow mint, probably medium high throw in a small room, and didn't last as long. I would say it. Um, I would say it lasted nine hours. <laughs> Eli. Eli also liked this one. That's his, his vote of confidence. Anyway, marshmallow mint um, lasted about nine hours, I guess, which uh, that's fine, right? I, I am happy with that and have bought this again already. Um, it didn't last as long as the Sonoma one, but I probably prefer the scent quality on this one due to the um, higher number, higher amount of marshmallow. Beautiful scent. I hope I made some sense. There. <laughs> I don't know if that made any sense at all. Okay, next up is from Scentsy, Walnut Raisin Muffin. Oh, I like this so much. So, you know, last week I talked about Sweet Plum Pastry, which, it, you know, has a huge following, and I'm probably in the minority that I don't like that one as well. This is what I wanted that one to smell like. So you have the juicy raisin and then a little nuttiness from the walnut and the bakery note from the muffin. This is spectacular, so I have ordered more of this. Really like this walnut raisin muffin. Next up, I finished my scoop of the Christmas sweater from Hayden Row Candle. First of all, I love this bought this particular container for scoops because it's just easier to get into than the taller ones that come from other vendors. This is a beautiful scent. So the scent notes on this are citrus, winter apple, vanilla bean noel, violet, and warm cotton. So it is a lightly laundry blend, but the predominant note is the vanilla bean noel and sweetened by the apple. I love this so much. So I will buy this again. This was a medium high throw, lasts forever, and it gave me my vanilla bean Noel that I was hoping for from the uh, the soap that didn't have any scent to it last week. But I shall not rag on that Bath and Body Works soap any longer because I got my vanilla bean Noel hit from Christmas sweater by Hayden Row. Yesterday I was enjoying some cherry scents. So first of all. We have from Ava's Country Covered Cherry Pie, and um, this is from this year. Wow, beautiful pastry note in this one. Oh, and a very strong cherry note. I will say this particular cherry is probably not my favorite. It was a bit biting, but um, the pastry note was luscious. So a preferred cherry for me uh, this week was from Sensi, uh, which was apple cherry strudel. And this had a very juicy, sweeter cherry. Uh, the apple note is in the back seat, but it's there. And the strudel was also um, noticeable to me. So this was nice and a long lasting scent. That's apple cherry strudel from Scentsy. From Ava's also was a sample in Holiday Treats. And this is a mixed bakery scent um, with the typical spicing. I would say some cinnamon and nutmeg high throw, and this lasted for a day and a half um, in a lower wattage melter. Enjoyed that very much. Holiday Treats from Ava's. Next up, now this was one, this was probably the only one this week I was not so much a fan of. I love this vendor. This is Sweet Sage, Sweet Sage Scents. So this is Naughty List. Oh, Christmas Tree, Chestnuts and Brown Sugar, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Um, I like chestnut notes uh, very much. So when this first started out, I liked the blend. You got the chestnuts, the tree, and then the vanilla bean Noel is kind of in the back seat. But as this, uh, as the hours wore on, that tree note really took over, and it was a sharp kind of a tree note. I love Christmas tree notes, but this became almost bitter over time. So I would not recommend this one for myself. Um, high throw lasted a long time. But again, kind of a bitter um, pine note in that one. But Sweet Sage Scents, normally I love. Get excellent throw from. Okay, next up from Scentsy, this is Squeeze the Day, which is a, a type of cleaner lemon. I really like this because we had fish the other night in a big way. I have friends at work that went deep sea fishing off the outer banks of Cape Hatteras, brought back the yellowfin tuna, 
and gave me some, which was so kind of them. So we had a massive fish dinner the other night, but you know, that leaves the house smelling a little fishy. So we brought this out, squeezed the day, and it cleaned the air, and I didn't smell the fish any longer. So I will buy this again, really like it. A nice, clean, cleaner lemon. Let's squeeze the day. Next up we have, oh, this is a beautiful one, and I finished the bag from um, w Wicked Wax Studio. This is House in the Woods. This is strawberries, balsam, almond, vanilla, and musk. I think I've talked about this before on my channel, but the combination of the strawberry and the balsam is beautiful. High throw, and I will buy that again from Winter White Woods, House in the Woods. Okay, then we have, did I say Wicked Wax Studio or Wicked Wax Woods? <laughs> Wicked Wax Studio was that vendor. Okay, next up we have, this is a beautiful vanilla note. This is from Woodwick. It's their wax melts. They're um, a larger container than some of the clamshells, and they're a bit flatter wax. Uh, this is vanilla bean. So it says, uh, warm, natural scent of pure vanilla bean. I absolutely love this. Not overly sweet, uh, more of a realistic vanilla, kind of like vanilla extract without the boozy touch really like this and it lasted a long time very comforting um, you know sometimes vanilla at least to me smells plasticky this does not it's very realistic vanilla bean love that from Woodwick from Destination Wax a sample in Magic Marshmallow so this is Magic Spell and Creamy Marshmallow I couldn't find scent notes for Magic Spell I'm thinking that's Love Spell it smelled like Love Spell to me which is all, not my favorite, but here I liked it. With the marshmallow, it was very pleasant. A sweet, lightly fruity note, um, high throw, and I enjoyed that. I'm a, I'm a fan of marshmallow scents, I guess, in general. And then lastly, to finish us off, from Rainbow Melts, my dearly beloved Winter, which is a Bath & Body Works dupe. This is a blend of sparkling clementine, pine needles, essential oils, and notes of clove. I love this so much. Uh, medium throw. This didn't, unfortunately didn't last as long as I wish it had, but the scent was just gorgeous. So I really enjoyed that one. So for me this week, star of the show was this little guy, this marshmallow mint from Scentsy in the Bring Back My Bar. I enjoyed that so much. So because I was so sad I couldn't find more of the Sonoma this year, and this is, a, this is even an improvement on that. So I highly recommend, recommend marshmallow mint from Scentsy. That is all. Um, I will be traveling tomorrow and um, actually the next two weeks and I'll be working from home the last two weeks and then I will be free as a bird. So uh, I thank you all so very much for watching. Please stay safe, um, hug your families, and until next time, bye for now.